Are your flip cups more like flop cups? <laughs> Are your wrecked rings just, well, wrecked? <sighs> Well, we have the solution for you, and that's the Fluid Art Experience. Here in Dallas, Texas, on November the 12th and November the 13th, you have the opportunity to be live and in person with one of your five favorite YouTube artists. Come learn some tips, techniques, and everything you need to know to replicate some beautiful art You'll be taking away art with you, and you also have the opportunity to come and join us at a Texan barbecue and a question and answer session. So why don't you go and log on right now at www.fluidartexperience.com and see what all the fun is about. We'll hopefully see you soon. Hello everyone. Hey guys. And welcome to another episode of Massey Art. Studios! Look at that little cutie. <laughs> Thank you to Rick. Yes. Um, who is actually Kathleen Osmore's hubby. Yes. And Rick, who I'm sure you've seen from some Cos point, Creations. From Cos Creations are um, his daughter actually makes these really wonderful, wonderful, wonderful signs. It was so cute, it's so happy. We absolutely love it. I know. And it's like these painted wooden signs on this painted wooden board. It's super cute. It's adorable. If you are at all interested in grabbing your hands on one of these signs, email Kathleen at coscreationsart at gmail.com. Yes. I'll link all the information in the description box. Kathleen, coscreationsart at gmail.com if you want to get your hands on one of those signs. Thank you so much, Rick. We will take absolute good care of the missus when she's here with us for the Fluid Art yeah. Experience. Gosh, next week. Next week. How crazy is that? It's coming up so soon. We have another special announcement. If you are in Canada and you wanted a leaky cup, up until right this minute, you couldn't get your hands on one because they were only available in the US. We've now got a really good solution for shipping to Canada. Um, it does make them more expensive because the shipping is actually $15 alone yeah. to get these out there, plus there's some extra packaging. But all the information on how to get hold of the Leaky Cup in Canada will also be in our description box. Um, go check that out if you are a Canadian and you want to get your hands on a Leaky Cup. Absolutely. Thank you, everyone out there. All right, Show Pony, this episode. What are you doing? What do you want to do in this episode? I think I'm going to break out the wreckers and I'm going to do a wrecked ring. A uh, comb or loop de loop? Comb. Ah, okay, it's been a while. It has been a while. Um, okay, that's going to be really, really stunning. And I think I'm going to do a ribbon pour inspired by Sarah Mack in nice. this one. Um, and she did something a little different than I've ever done a ribbon pour before, and that's elevate the canvas. So I'm going to give that one a go and see what happens. Nice. So, thank you for being here. Thank you for liking and subscribing. Thank you for being with us on this pouring journey of ours. Um, let's get to the table. Absolutely. I really want to get pouring on this one. I've got some great colors for you, so we'll see you there. Hey guys, it's Jeremy here, and I am so excited about today's pour. I can't even tell you, like, I'm loving the colors that we chose. So I'm going to jump right into this and just let you know this is a 20 inch by 20 inch gallery up canvas. Nice size canvas, yes. sir. Well done. Yes, and it's uh, pinned and taped on the bottom. Okay. Um, the colors that we're using today are just delicious. Um, this emerald green by Master's Touch Thick Body Acrylics. Okay. We have turquoise phalo, which is a staple in our... Uh, in our studio. And it's been a little hard to get it, but I'm glad that we've got it again. Mm -hmm. Okay, this one I am in love with. Um, it's the Expert Acrylic Series by Amsterdam, and it is Indigo. And you guys, this is incredible. Like, get your hands on some of this. It looks like big pen to me like when whenever oh. you like accidentally bite your eyes to bite my pens yes. at school and it get it all over my lips and my hands yeah that's the color it looks yes. like that it's dark like ink, ink. Yeah. yeah it's so beautiful um and then this is pearl pistachio green by arteza another staple i would say mm -hmm. we got pearl white by amsterdam love it because we get we're actually finding it really hard to find the golden's pearl white i know 
Um, and then we have Golden's Quinacridone Nickel Azo Gold. It's a beautiful colors. Is beautiful, yeah. These are going to be so interesting together, you guys. Jeremy picked all these out. Now, what are you doing with these oh, colors? Wait, I forgot to say. Oh. Um, this is also, we got one more. <laughs> this is Champagne Gold. Deco so, Arts. Yes, Deco Arts Champagne Gold. Now, what are you doing with this cacophony of beauty? Um, I'm going to be doing a wrecked ring today. Okay, it's been I, a while love these colors and I think that they'll look perfect in a wrecked ring. Are you loop-de-looping or are you comb wrecking? No, I'm comb wrecking. Okay, interesting. Yeah. And for um, anyone that can hear that grinding on the outside, there's some work that's been done in a house down yes, the street. Yes. Okay. Yes. So you're going to start layering these cups? I am. Or this cup, should I say? I am. I think I'm going to start with the indigo. Okay. Champagne. Delicious. Right. I want enough, but not too much. Um, then I think I'm going to go with maybe the phalo. Hmm. You know what? I'm going to go with the emerald green next. Okay. Then I'm going to go in with the pearl pistachio. Phalo. It's been a very rainy, wet week here in Plano. So it's the weekend and everyone's taking the opportunity to mow their lawns. So if now you hear a bevy of lawn mowers going <laughs> that's exactly the reason why if it's too loud i'll cut it out but yes you keep going for the time being sir Okay guys, so here's my cup full of layered beautiful colors. I'm gonna go ahead and start my ring.
All right, guys, it is tilts and time. Let's tilt this one out. guys I'm in love with this pretty curtains yes it's really cool um, I'm loving all of it like it's just so exciting um, I think it is anyway I love it um, I love the colors in here I love that that champagne gold that's going through here uh, yeah I just think that it's great I think I it's you guys like it. stunning. I think it's really, really, really pretty. Thank you. Yeah. Hey, you've got your edges already? I got my edges. I feel like you've already touched it. it. So now we're just going to take you in for a close-up. Let's do it. ladles and jelly spoons the lawnmowers seem to have disappeared but we'll see how long that lasts for we will see so i've got a 16 by 20 inch canvas here in front of me that the show pony has taped and pinned nice. i really loved your wrecked ring it was stunning i think i personally still prefer the loop de loops rather than the comb wreck oh, okay. but that's just personal preference for me yeah. um i but i really really love that i love how you get curtains with those combs yes. very sweet um i want to do a ribbon pour but I was going back through the archives of the wonderful Sarah Mack. 
and she did a ribbon pour about a year ago that where she elevated the canvas to actually kind of get the colors to flow down the canvas before she tilted it out. Mm. Kind of like how we do the wing paws, you know, when you do the angel wings. Yeah. So that's what I'm going to try and do today. Um, I'm going to do that same kind of ribbon pour, but I'm going to elevate the canvas and just watch the, the actual colors flow down. I know you're looking at me with critical eyes, show pony, because you didn't see it, <laughs> but I'm going to show you what I mean. And because it's a ribbon pour, I'm actually going to layer the cups right here in front of you. And I'm doing two of them. Now, this is our white. It is the Artist Loft white that's had a little bit of satin enamels added to the base. And unlike Jeremy's kind of marble pour, where he does a pour that looks like marble, he's very subtle with the colours. This is not subtle, but certainly I'm just pouring the colours on top of the white. Just like this, just to kind of get some of the colours on top, but not, not dirty layering. I'm not piercing the white in any way. I'm just layering it. Triple decker, but there may actually be more than three layers on this one. So it's going to be like sandwich styled. Styled? Yeah, I guess that's the word. <laughs> Making words up as we go here, folks. Now this is the deep turquoise phalo that's going on top. Now I'm going to put some gold in here, but it might not be on every layer. But yeah, I'm putting too much if you do it on every layer. Oh, I think so too, sir. Gold tends to take over. Right, no, every in every single pour. All right, so that's my first layer. Now I'm going to try and layer these in a way in which I don't pierce the colours that I've just poured, just like that. I'm just covering them up, just layering these colours on top. What kind of happens, the white then becomes a vehicle for the colours to get onto the, onto the canvas. So now I'm going to use some of the colours I didn't previously. So we've got some emerald green here. That emerald green is so cool. I wasn't quite sure about this emerald green when you uh, when you picked it, show pony. But I'm glad that you did. Someone accused the show pony of being colour blind in the comments. <laughs> when I saw that, when I saw that emerald green, I thought, yeah, he might actually just be. But no, no, I didn't really. I just wasn't quite sure about it. Now I know I've got white in the cup, but this is pearl white, so I am going to add just a little bit of it on here. And then back in with the turquoise phalo, because the turquoise phalo and that wonderful Nicolazzo always look so cool together. Just like that. Okay, let's do another layer. You see what I'm doing here, Show Pony? It's exactly yes. like your yeah, marble. Exactly like that. Not to be confused with the marble. Pool. The marble pour, exactly. All right, let's go in with some more of this delicious oh, indigo. indigo. This might be your new favorite color, right? It is my new favorite, absolutely. Well, I never. I love that Nickel as a roll next to the, the indigo. Yeah? Yeah, I think it's beautiful. I like it too. I wonder if I can get two more layers in here. We'll see. Definitely going to do one more layer of white. Maybe I'll end up with the colour on the top, actually. That might work. Or maybe I'm not. Maybe I'll be able to sandwich it. We'll see. Okay. One more layer of colour. Now, I didn't put gold in that last layer, so I'm going to put a bit more gold on this one. Okay. Right, there we go. Last layer of white, and we are done. Perfect. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do 
is actually elevate the canvas. So when we do our wing pause or the angel wing pause, we elevate the canvas to allow that composition to flow down the middle and that's what creates those kind of wings. Mm. Gonna do the same thing here, but just on this ribbon paw. Um, I'm wondering if that's too high. I don't think so. No? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Okay. All right, so then I'm gonna take the layered cup that I've just layered and now we're gonna pour this one straight onto the canvas. Let's do it. All right, so now I'm gonna remove the cups. I've just torched this one off, and now we're gonna to get to tilting this one out. Tilting time. It is tilting time, show pony. let's do this. Now, I'm not gonna put any flow extender around because I've got a lot of paint on this canvas. Yes. So I'm gonna keep this one just as it is, and let's tilt this bad boy out. Sending, no need to escape. Then 
So there you have it, folks. Show Pony just said something and he was quite right. I will have this. This orientation kind of looks like mountains and a, and a funky skyline. So that's probably how I would display this one. But um, I really love this. It, it came out so subtle when there's such dark colors in that in that part but this is such a dark color scheme i was worried it was going to be really dark but clearly as you layer these onto the white you know it creates these beautiful shades of all of these colors um but i really i love tilting out ribbon paws i love the crazy kind of like woven textures that you get when you do so so i'm really happy with this one i'm going to get my edges i'm going to torch this up one more time and i'm going to take you guys in for a close-up yes thank you everyone So there you have it folks. There you have it. I love the <laughs> curtains that you get oh, with that you. with that comb wreck. And it was so funny how it was actually the two wrecks that ended up staying I know. on your canvas. What did you think? I really liked it. I thought it was great. I loved how they merged mm. and kind of yeah. you know did this whole Ebb like, and flowed. Yes. I really liked that too. Mm. It was a really pretty and those colours were stunning. Oh yeah. I was scared of the emerald green, but it had its home there for sure. Mm. Um, yeah, I really like that one, Show Pony. Great colour choices and it was a really fun pour. Um, I really like my ribbon pour. Um, in my head, I was expecting more cells, but then when I went back, I kind of looked, yeah. I only used 24 karat gold. I should have used some more decorat colours, ah. um, but I will do that next time. But I like that elevated pour. And when I tilted the composition portrait, Joe Boney said it looks like kind of a landscape and then a, a, a skyline. Yeah, And that's beautiful. exactly how, how I will fix it with hardware in order for it to be displayed. And I absolutely loved it. I think it's one of his best. Oh, you say that every time, but thank you. <laughs> I appreciate you for saying that. That's very cool. Um, so, if you want to get your hands on the Massey Art Studio sign that you saw in the intro, don't forget, all you need to do is email coscreationsart at gmail.com and Kathleen will put you in touch with the wonderful, wonderful, talented individual that's going to be able to sort that out for you. Yes. If you are a Canadian citizen and you now want a leaky cup, please also check out the description box um, because all the information will be right there for you. Woohoo! And um, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe. Absolutely. It it's the world to us, you guys. Friday night. It is time for a cocktail. It has been <laughs> one hell of a week. Next week is going to be crazy because we've crazy. got the fluid art experience, but we will still have episodes on Tuesday, Friday, and Sunday for you. Yeah. We will not miss a spot. Nope. We have not yet in our year and three months worth of airing. I know. Um, so hopefully we'll see you back here. Have a great evening, everyone. If you haven't caught Mina's premiere, she just premiered before us. I know this piece, it is stunning. So go check it out. And uh, we'll see you back here on Sunday. Yeah. All right, guys. Have a great evening. Have a great weekend. And we'll see you Sunday. Bye, guys. Bye. So we want to take a moment to spank. Spank? <laughs> spank some very <laughs> special. <laughs> we want to take a moment to thank some very special people. Absolutely. And that's our Patreons. Patreons. So the Patreon account is a very separate account from YouTube, mm -hmm. but it allows some very important people the opportunity to get a little bit of a closer look of the studio. And there are certain levels. So at one level, for example, you get to see sneak peeks and behind the scenes videos. Mm -hmm. At another level, you're invited to join us in a WhatsApp group. 
where we chat, we exchange pictures, and you also get weekly painting challenges. In another level, you get um, once a month live streams. At another level, you get once a month tutorials that are live. Yes. And then at our top tier, the diamond level, you would get to pick the colors and the technique for an episode of Massey Art Studios. Mm -hmm. And then you get to keep one of the 11 by 14 inch canvases every single month. And so, with a change of venue... What? I know. <laughs> we've got some very special people that we have to thank. Yes. And that is our gold Massey Posse. That's Trisha West, Jane Klein, Stephanie Hancock, Donna Patterson, Terry Leshner, Gloria Salaki, it's Nate Bright, it's Linda Serien, Crafty Chicken Mom, it's Rebecca Hawes Winters, Patsy Petrilli, it's Tammy Houdsbrook, it's Kelly Stowell, and it's Gillian Barnett. Now with the Platinum level, it's Leslie Beaver, Janice and Steve Pittman, Donna Panis, Dana Foxley, Elaine Burton, Susan Shepperson, and Robin Koza. And you all know her, we all love her. At the diamond <laughs> level, there's only one person, yes. and that is Sparkles. Sparkles. So to you guys and to everyone else that, whose names that you'll see here listed below, thank you so very much. We yes. absolutely love that you're here with us on this journey, and we're gonna keep pouring. Yes. Thank you guys. Bye guys. <laughs>